How's it going? What's up guys and welcome to another video today. We are going to be doing another game hunting video. Um, If you recall my last video, my last video was uh, getting rid of, um, just donating a bunch of, or just getting rid of a bunch of my PC collection. Um, It's a junior adventure for kids at 3 to 8 pajama, pajama sin. No need to hide it when it's dark outside. This is an absolutely amazing game, and I think you can actually get these on Switch now. Um, but I'm actually going to keep the PC version because um, because it's a massive part of my childhood. So we're going to keep that one. Um, so if you don't, if you haven't seen that video, it's on my channel now. It goes for about probably about um, like half an hour, or an hour or something. And um, yeah, I just went through a bunch of. Um, just games I don't play anymore because um I don't really play PC games that much and stuff. I'm just all about Nintendo Switch and DS and GameCube and Wii and all the other like you know older consoles. It's not exactly PC, you know. Um, so if you want to see that, it's on my channel. Um, if you want to see more in detail of what I actually did, um, uh, donate or trash, um. Then you're gonna have to see that video because I'm not really gonna go into it because uh yeah, it's just uh not relevant. So um yeah, um so what I'm gonna be doing today, I'm gonna be going to Miranda, I'm gonna be going to CEX, trading in like forty games. Um f like forty games pretty much, and just see how much I can get from um how I, uh, sorry, how much I can get from um from what I have uh you know donated or trashed. You know, so yeah, so yeah, um, that that's um, that's that. Um, I'm not going to show you the other one because um, you'll have to see it in the other video. Um, yeah, um, now I um, I posted about I think a month ago that I was going to be getting rid of my um, doing my game pickups. Now, um, I was thinking about cancelling the video, um, the video like um, just the video idea in general. Um, entirety, because I just didn't enjoy him, but I thought, instead of cancelling it, and, you know, not really, um, and just stop doing it all together, I'm just gonna, like, minimise it to the, um, to the lowest, like, about four or five games per pickup, because, um, I just got too bloody monotonous, so I got, like, 40 games stacked up behind my freaking couch, and, um, yeah, it just got too monotonous, and I just was like, no, nah, you know what, I don't really want to film and go through each and every game, because, um, with my pickups, it's a little bit more complicated, it's a little bit more, um, process to film. I've got to, I've got to edit the video, I've got to, um, I've got to show each and every game, I've got to re, I've got to play each and every game, I've got to, and then I've got to, which is the most time-consuming bit, I've got to record game capture for each and every game. So imagine a um a video with about 40, 50 plus games, right? And um I have to do game capture for about 50 plus games spanning in front of like about six different consoles. Imagine how much that would be like tedious. So that's why I've decided to sort of minimize the game pickups a little bit. I'm not canceling it. Don't worry. Um, so yeah, that's just what's gonna happen. So yeah, um, okay. Right, um, another thing that just ha um, that um, happened just this morning um, that I found out. I'm at a hundred and ninety followers on my inst um, on my on my TikTok. So if you guys want to go check out my TikTok, it's in my description. Um, I'm at a hundred and ninety followers, and um, I just post snippets and little, little just little things that um. Just, yeah, little snippets of my videos and little um little duets with other creators on the platform. So yeah, I'm um, just a quick wanted to quickly promote that um because I'm almost at 200 followers on um on TikTok. I don't really use it that um, that much, but you know what? It um I still use, I still upload and stuff to it. But um yeah, I don't really scroll through it because it's a, it's a bit buggy now. Um so yeah, um without further ado, I am going to quickly um go to um the bus stop and um just uh, catch the catch the you know the old usual stuff i do so yeah i'm okay see you in a bit all right everyone okay i'm here at miranda um now without any uh, any further ado right um i'm gonna go straight to cx got two 
huge bags of PC games on my arm, um, on my shoulders, and it's actually I've actually got a sore shoulder. So um, yeah, let's do it. Right, I'm so angry about this, but I'm um, like 40 plus games, right? Um, first of all, about about um about 20% of them had to be freaking brand new and sealed to be, to be donated to them, which sucks. Um, and and the even worse bit was um that I got 13 bucks out of about freaking four out of about freaking 40 plus games so not only was this a waste of money but it was also a waste of time so i'm going to try and just sneak in every last dollar of this 13 bucks that i got um and yeah i'll see you in the next bit all right um found absolutely nothing in EV games so i'm going to get a big w but the games are way cheaper um i'd go to cx but they didn't really have what i was looking for and not that there's going to be anything that I'm, I'm looking for within the budget, within my budget, but um, yeah, um, I'm just going to go up to Big W to see what other like cheap games they have. Um, I've got a um, alternative that I'm thinking of getting, which is on, on digital, that I was looking at a few days ago, so um, yeah. Alright, um, I'm at Big W now, um, but the games are a little bit cheaper. There's, there's like nothing here within my budget so um okay um yeah no, nothing's not nothing's here within my budget I could buy Xbox One games but like I don't really play them that much you know um, uh, I mean I might as well have a look at some, um, some headphones while I'm here just Turtle Beach ones but you know yeah um nothing to be honest nothing more they're like they're 50 bucks each. I'll get them, but just not today. Alright, so um, I'm actually going to see if I can squeeze a bit more money out of um, out of getting these games by going to a, um, a pawn shop, um, which is just like near here. So um, I'll probably see you outside. I refuse, right? I refuse to give up the fight, man. I will find that cheap game that I'm looking for.
did it, I made that $13 as stretched as much as I could. And I tried to get some really good games too. Really um really awesome. So um yeah you have to wait until the end of the video to see out what I actually picked up. That's just the way I do things, um that's just, just the way I um I do um game hunting. So yeah. I, I ended up picking up quite a few stuff in this bloody suspicious looking paper bag. But um yeah, okay, um, I'm gonna get some food now and I will see you guys when I get home. Alright. Alright guys, I actually got, got back um, yesterday, I just didn't have time to film this bit um, until the next day. So um, here's some of the games I picked up for the value of like 13 or 14 bucks. Honestly, I, didn't, I thought I didn't do too bad, but um, I could have done a little bit better if I had a little bit more money to um, to actually spend, which would have been my budget. So um, the first game is Combat of Giants Dinosaur 3D. Um, so yeah, this game surprised me quite a bit. I thought this was just going to be like, um, I, I thought this was just going to be a, a generic, um, like open world, um, dinosaur game, but it was half open world and half sort of like, like, like of a fighting game. So you, you get to, um, pick a dinosaur and you get to customize him, um, Obviously, as you progress through the game, you you will be able to customize your dinosaur more, and you, also your dinosaur will will um gradually get stronger as you progress through the game, and you'll be able to like be a pink dinosaur, you can be a yellow dinosaur, you can be like, and um, you can you just get to um customize the um the stripes and the, the belly and the undercarriage and and um all sorts of things. And um, you get to uh, in the open world, you get to pick up um, some some bones. I guess they will be to actually um, to to uh, I guess they'll be to unlock things. Um, and then you can also um, pick like a secondary dinosaur that you can that you get to be as well. In case you're you know sick of the the fighting style of. Um, your first dinosaur you picked, you get to name your dinosaur as well. So, um, I of course named him Hillboard Hill 5 because that's my name. Um, yeah, um, and with the fighting, I thought, um, I thought they changed it up quite a bit. It, um, so it's basically a fighting style game, but you have to dodge your opponent's attacks and it will indicate like a, um, like a, it'll in indicate like a red icon and they will. I'll attack and they'll attack and you and you get to dodge by clicking L and R and um I thought it would be a little bit repetitive but then they um then they started throwing in sort of more challenging dinosaurs for you to fight um and them them blocking and actually um sort of uh sort of doing a more effective attacks and you have to blocking a certain amount of time this was actually surprisingly a great find for like um I forgot how much money um it was but it, it was it wasn't a lot of money <laughs> so yeah so yeah that was gr this was great um if yeah if you get a chance um pick up um dinosaur um yeah combat of giants dinosaur 3D pretty cool didn't use the 3D at all it's just you know it's just the whole cameo thing it's re really weird but yeah next game. Alright, so next one we have a combo pack, Madagascar 3, Europe's Most Wanted and the Crew's Prehistoric Party. Um, these were both, um, they weren't the best, but for like, I think I got this for like two bucks. Um, so I had to just pick it up. Um, surprisingly the Crew's um, Prehistoric Party was a little bit more fun, uh, because you actually, um, you get to choose your character, and you get to go up against other characters in a, a range of party games, um, uh, uh, ranging from like uh, bowling to um, just uh, catching popcorn to like uh, bashing um, other characters off like a ring, um, and just a whole bunch of other really cool uh, mini games. Whether um, Madagascar 3 at Europe's Most Wanted was uh, just a very, very, very generic platformer. Um, to be honest, uh, Madagascar 3 was just, it wasn't the best game, but um, Crude's 
prehistoric party was actually good and I found myself really wanting to beat the opposition so um yeah um, I think you can pick these up on other consoles um, but, uh, yeah, I think uh, if you want to get to a 3DS version, I suggest you get the Crudes, because, um, Madagascar 3 was just not the best. Um, I would rather watch the movie than play the game, to be honest. Um, so yeah, the, um, it was, it, they were both fine. Just, uh, just a time killer, to be quite honest with you. Alright, next we have, um, Jewel Masters Cradle of Egypt. Um, this was a $1.50. Um, um, basically what this is, it's, it's a, um, it's a bejeweled clone, um, but it's set in Egypt, um, now, um, I, it's really, honestly, not the best, um, you, uh, you basically have to match three, and, um, you gotta do it before the time runs out, now, with, te with Tetris, um, or, beju uh, or bejeweled, um, which are, uh, um, much more fun, you have to actually um, once you progress through the next stage, you actually the 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 whole background sort of changes, and um, that's um and uh, with this game it didn't really do that. Um, it was a little weird. Um, so for like a dollar fifty, this was fine. It was just it's just a, a time killer to be honest. Um, not the best. Um, I mean I I'm seeing on the back of the case here, and you, you do get to you get to do um different things but I just couldn't find out a way um a way to do it so um this one was it, it was fine it's just um honestly just stick to Bejewel or Tet or Tetris because they're better alternatives um next I have um Assassin's Creed uh, just Assassin's Creed um now um with this, I actually already own Assassin's Creed without knowing it, but this was like a dollar, so I'm not really too, um, too unhappy about it, because, like, it was a dollar, and, um, it's fun. If you've not heard of Assassin's Creed, you get to play as Altair, and you, um, it's basically, the whole thing is, um, the Animus gets you, um, gives you the access to memories of your ancestors, and you basically have to, you're an assassin, and you get to basically, um, attack Templars by assassinating them without alerting anybody. Really, really fun. This game was an instant classic to go back to and I just and I just loved it. You're, you're gonna see some, some gameplay on screen. It's either gonna be one of the other two because um, I don't know. I'm not editing the video right now. But yeah, this was really, really fun to go back to and um, I actually might just donate this back to the service because I already own it. Um, next we have, which is surprisingly the only uh, Assassin's Creed game I don't own, Assassin's Creed uh, Revelations. Um, this takes um, takes the story after Assassin's Creed 2, and um, basically you wake up on a um, on a beach somewhere, and you're in your mind, and you think uh, you think you're dead, but you're not. Um, you're actually asleep, and the Animus is keeping you alive, and basically. Um, you take control of uh, Ezio first. Um, I think you get to change between them both, depending how far you get into the game. I haven't played a lot, but I'm definitely going um, um, to play um, more um, into this video um, when this video ends, or when like when once I've uploaded it. <laughs> and um, yeah, but this was really, really, really fun. I actually quite enjoyed it. And for a dollar, mate, that's a, that's a great find. Uh, the only um, Assassin's Creed game I don't own. I need to get those um, those side-scrolling ones as well. Um, I don't know what they're called. I'll just put them on screen here. There you go. All right, and um, yeah, that that's basically what I picked up. Um, not, I mean, I'm quite happy I picked up both Assassin's Creed games uh, besides one of them, which I already own. But um, those. Um, that uh, that one uh, dinosaur three D three uh, D S game that was a that was a really uh, cool game to find um and I'm totally uh, totally love to find uh, totally I'm really happy I found it and um it really surprised me I thought it was just going to be a generic open world um like a dinosaur game but it actually turned out to be quite fun and I found myself like like half an hour playing it um so yeah. 
thanks for watching this video um if, if you did if you want to see more um game hunting i would love to um actually do this because these are my favorite um uh videos to film and they're actually a lot and they're actually really fun to edit as well so thank you so much for watching this video and i'll see you guys in the next one stay scared my friends see you later Bye bye